Cater with the Ephraim Historical Foundation. Here I am at the Pioneer Schoolhouse in Ephraim, Wisconsin. And I see the tracks of something that's crossed Moravia Street. This animal that crossed Moravia Street was going, was going this way. And I'm going to show you why I think that. And here's the track. There it is, right there. What shape does this track remind you of? I think it looks a little bit like a heart. And of course, this is a deer track. Let's take a look at this combination of different tracks. Well, there's my own um, boot track. So human tracks. And I see more deer track, but I want to point out this track in particular. Notice the heart shape again, made by the hoof. And notice these two round circles, kind of two indentations in that track. Those two indentations are made by a deer dew claws. They're on the back, kind of on the back of the deer ankle. And because these dew claw marks are on the back of the deer ankle, I know that the deer was walking this way, this way. Deer track. What a beautiful pattern of deer track going past the Goodlitson cabin into the woods. Animals leave other kinds of signs too, like scat, spelled S-C-A-T, scat. It just means animal poop. This is deer scat. Notice that the scat shape is not perfectly round. Instead, it's a little bit long. Some might say oblong. Deer scat. Look for it in Door County Woods. I see more scat. Let's look at the shape. It's round, isn't it? And it's not very big. Maybe the size of my fingernail. And I want to note the habitat where I'm at. So I'm going to back up here. And I'm by, well, really, my forsythia bush in my backyard. And that's behind my house. This is the scat made by a rabbit. Rabbit scat. To help you remember it, think of the letter the word rabbit starts with, R. Rabbit scat is round, round rabbit, round rabbit scat. Do you see the deer track? Right there, but I see something else. Much smaller tracks. I don't see a line that would indicate a tail drag. So I'm, oh, and there's one that's hopping, kind of leaping. I'm guessing this is a meadow vole. Here we have another very tiny track made by a small mammal. A mammal is an animal that has fur. If you look carefully, you'll also notice that there's just the slightest indentation of a tail drag. Some more over here, right there. That tells me this is uh, most likely a deer mouse. A deer mouse. And um, sadly, it's going towards the building Rot roll. When a person is on the hunt for animal tracks and trying to solve the mystery of what animal might have made those tracks, it's important to look around and see what the habitat is. And I'm by a big old spruce tree. There's a tree branch with some of those needles, familiar needles of the spruce. A little bit of an open area. I'm actually by the schoolhouse, Ephraim's Pioneer Schoolhouse and Goodlitson Cabin. And I found some great tracks here. There's an animal that likes to climb trees. 
that leaps, that bounds as it moves. And so its pattern of tracks looks like a square if you were to connect each paw track. Let me show you some tracks. That's what I'm talking about. We've got the hind feet and the front feet which are a little bit smaller, of course. And if I were to connect each track with an imaginary line, it would make a square shape. So that's a clue. And that's a typical pattern of a squirrel track. It's fun being an animal detective, isn't it? Especially when it comes to tracks. Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Kathleen from the Ephraim Historical Foundation. I have a dear friend with me today to tell you about two fun winter track activities and also to talk a little bit more about tracks. So please give a big hi ho welcome to my dear friend, Fawn. hi ho Fawn! hi ho Miss Kathleen! hi ho kids! Gosh, you know Fawn the children and I saw a movie with tracks in it and other animal signs. We saw a squirrel track. We saw rabbit scat. Ooh, rabbit scat, that sounds yummy. We saw two different kinds of mouse track. And what else did we see? Oh, we saw tracks made by Mama Deer. Mama Deer, I love Mama Deer. Yes, I do too. You know, I have a picture of tracks made by Mama Deer. Do you mind if I show it to the kids? No, I don't mind at all. Okay, well, let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I think you messed up, Miss Kathleen. Oh, let me look. Oh! Oh my gosh, I, th I think I did goof. This isn't Mama Deer track. This is, well, this is my track. This is a human track. I can tell because of the Tootsies on the top. You know, I'm not talking about Tootsie Rolls, the candy. I'm talking about my toes. Human tracks, when your foot is bare, will show toes. But. How many toes do people have? Well, as long as I've got the track here. Let's count together, but let's count in Spanish. We're going to start with a big toe in Spanish. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Well, now let's say those same numbers in English, but let's count down. We'll start with the number five, and we'll start with the little toe. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. People have five toes. Did you know that deer have four toes? Two of the toes we can see quite easily. I think I have another track here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, gosh. Here is the deer track, and it's a hoof print. Mama Deer's hoof is made of really the same thing your, your fingernails are made of. Look at your fingernail and, and feel your fingernail for a minute. Hooves are made of the same thing that fingernails are made of. A deer hoof has how many parts? Well, it has two parts. One, two, uno, dos. The two halves of a deer hoof are really two toes. So deer walk on their tippy toes. Deer also have two more toes called dew claws. And I've got a picture showing that as well. Here is a deer track that shows the dew claws. Those dots are dew claws. And the dew claws are on the back side 
of their hoof. You hoo fawn! May I show the boys and girls one of your hooves? Yes, you may. Oh, thank you. I'll gently lift your hoof up. There it is. And here are two more toes called dew claws on the back side of your hoof. I like my dew claws. They're fun. A deer, like you, makes tracks with its hooves. Do you know that some people think a deer track looks a little bit like a heart if you look at it a certain way? Watch. Fawn, deer are important animals in Door County. They sure are. We love seeing deer. We love seeing your graceful mom, a doe, a deer, a female deer. And we love seeing your dad, a buck, a male buck. We love seeing them and we especially love seeing tracks in winter. If you want to learn more about tracks, ask your teacher about our lookbook. Let me go get it. Right here, that's what you ask for, your lookbook in winter. Let me take that out of your mouth, help you home for goodness sake. There it is. There's some things inside to color or learn about. And that too, pretty cool. That's from a woodcut made by a woman named Doris Heisey Miller a long time ago. Doris lived in Ephraim. She was an artist and made jewelry out of silver. Her gift shop was called Cabin Craft. She created this design. What do you see here? Well, I see a buck with its antler. I see a doe resting near a cedar tree. Doris Heisey Miller created woodcut designs. Look how beautiful that is. And these woodcut designs would be used almost like a stamp pad. You might put paint or ink on them and then press them onto paper to create something beautiful. Another nifty project that will help you learn about winter animals is our winter animal spinner. Fawn is holding it. I've got it right here. Do you mind if I show the kids? Hey, Fawn, come back here with that. Come back here, Fawn. Here. Okay, now you just sit there for a while and be good. Oh my gosh, it's getting restless. It's a winter track spinner and it's easy to make. We've got some of the parts cut out for you. There are three parts. Three parts, boys and girls. A big circle, a smaller circle, and something called a fastener or a brad, and here's how it goes together. You put the small dark blue circle on top of the lighter circle and line them up. There are holes already, there's holes punched in the center of each circle. You'll just poke the brad through like so, flip it over, and spread each side of the bread, whoops, I'm going to have to do it this way, each side of the bread out, like so, and then you've got a spinner. And you'll see that there are names of different animals. Here's the deer. And your job is going to be to find the word deer and match it to the picture deer kind of like that, and then you can lift it up. If you need help reading what's underneath, an older brother or sister could help, or mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, or maybe you can read yourself. So those are some fun things to do with winter tracks and learning about winter animals. Well, my dear friend Fawn, it's uh, time that we made tracks 
I need to make tracks back to my work desk. And I need to make tracks back to the woods to see my mama. You know, I really like you, Fawn. You do? Oh, sure. And I like you, too. And I like all of you, too. Gosh, that reminds me of a song. It's, a, it's an old song. Maybe your grandparents remember singing it. Mr. Rogers used to sing it. It's you I like. It's not the spots you wear. It's not your hooves way down there. But it's you I like. The way you are right now, way down deep inside you, it's not the spots that hide you, not your flashy white tail, that's just beside you. But it's you I like, every part of you. Your eyes, your fur, your feelings, whether old or new. And I hope that you remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like, it's you we like. It's you, it's you, we like. It sure is, kids. So thanks for spending some time with us at the Ephraim Historical Foundation, learning about tracks. And we hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.